glass switch. <laughs> and thank you all for getting here so early in the morning. Um, I have two young men who are still in bed at my house. They, they tend to be night hawks and uh, not early morning risers unless they have the early shift at work. So indeed it's a pleasure to join everyone here today to talk about recreation facilities for helping Nova Scotians lead healthy, active lifestyles. Promoting active living and healthy eating is one of our government's commitments for a healthier Nova Scotia. In every region, we are going to do these announcements for grants across the province. As you know, recreation facility development grants are awarded from Yarmouth to Cape Breton. They are a way to develop or upgrade facilities, trails, fields, arenas, and many other venues where Nova Scotians can get active. We all know that right across North America, we are struggling with the physical activity rate. We want our children, youth, peers, to live long and happy, healthy lives. And yet, their lifestyles today threaten that type of future. We have to get Nova Scotians moving to reverse this trend. That's why the province launched the program Thrive a plan for a healthier Nova Scotia. Its goal is to create environments that make it easier to be healthy. Investing in community infrastructure is one way to help create environments that make it a bit easier for us to do sports and other physical activities. So when we invest in sports and physical recreation facilities, we are investing in people, communities, and a healthier Nova Scotia for all. Today, I am pleased to announce $16,000 in funding for upgrades to this facility, the Skateboard Park. And it's a fun place for young people, and I saw some riding their bikes on, on the, is this the half pike? This is a half pike, okay. <laughs> I do have three boys, so I am familiar with some terminology with skateboarders. They weren't really big into skateboarding because they, once they fell off and hurt themselves, that was the end of it for them. But it's a fun place for all, for all these youth to get moving and enjoy some outdoor activity. There's also $8,900 for continued repairs and upgrades to the Lunenburg and District Swimming Pool, which is just behind us. And these are among eight of the projects that I have the pleasure of announcing in the South Shore region. My colleague, Zach Churchill, MLA for Yarmouth, is announcing two more this morning as well. That brings the total of 10 projects in this region, getting $253,500 to help Nova Scotians lead a healthier and active lifestyle. Around the project province, 67 projects are being receiving nearly $2 million in funding this year. Leaders like Mayor Rachel Bailey, their councils, recreation staff like Robin Scott, right, Robin, I did see you. Oh, there you are, <laughs> Robin. Um, community organizations and volunteers are the heart of many of these projects. I can't name everyone, but I do want to say how fortunate we are to have such dedicated Nova Scotians throughout the South Shore region to develop and maintain facilities for everyone to enjoy. Thank you all for being here and for bringing these projects to life. Thank you. <laughs>